Hello everyone, it's Melanie. I said that I would do a little review on this beautiful book by Clover Robin called um, Cut Paper Pictures. And sorry it took me so long to get to it, but I had a few minutes and I thought I would um, share it for you. I'll put a link to the, an Amazon affiliate link to this book down in the, um, in the description box below, but it sounds like a couple of you have already bought it. And it's a beautiful book, so... Um, I, I really do recommend it if you're interested in this kind of collage and stuff. So first, I guess I'll just show you. I can't remember when I got the book, but I think I got it right after it came out. Um, I got paint on it the other day when I was looking through it. So I got it, and of course, I flipped through the, the front part, and she doesn't really have a lot of suggestions as far as specifics on glue and scissors and paint and stuff like that. Um, and she's also located in the UK. So, you know, for us in the U S it might not even be, it might not matter, you know, what kind of glue she's suggesting because we may not have that same glue available to us, that kind of thing. So it's the, the descriptions of the materials and the basics and stuff is, is pretty, um, pretty common or pretty uh, generic is what I meant. So then she kind of goes through the types of paper and how she colors her paper and she paints her papers with paint brushes. And since I already, when I've got this book, I was already into painting my papers with um, with cards like that, you know, with key cards and things like that. So the vast majority of the car, of the paper that I have colored to use in my collages, I I colored painted with the credit card thing. Um, but I've done some where I put brush strokes on the paper, like like this, like I painted the peachy color on the back with a gift card, and then I just used a brush to put some texture kind of on, the, on top of it with the white. So she goes through that, just to, some tips about storing scraps. Um, I'll show you how I stored mine. And I don't want, I'm not going to show you the whole book. I don't think that's fair to the, to the author, give you the whole, and you don't have to buy it. Um, but she's got some basics on how to set up a collage and, and things like that. And then I have to be perfectly honest. It wasn't until a couple, like two days ago until after I made those, the video that I made about doing the flowers that I thought, okay, you know, I should probably try something else in the book. I got to this part, flowers and plants, and I was hooked. So I literally, for the very first thing I did, kind of her, um, followed her step by step. My, so this is my version of her flowers, very similar. And I kind of went through, I even did, so I made these like that. Um, and then from there, mine are a little bit, mine are a little bit different. Uh, I kind of kind of looked did a little bit of that hydrangea there um, and then sort of I cut some with some different anyway this is the first one and I posted this after I got the book and did this I posted this on my Instagram and I can't remember if I tagged Clover Robin or if I hashtagged the book but she commented very sweet comment about my collage so oh that was August that was a year ago August 2018 so that was really cool. I was really impressed that she um, commented on my on my collage. So after I did that one, I did another, this one. And I did this one on an old encyclopedia page that I painted with um, some pearlescent paint. It's kind of hard to see. So this one, I, I like it. I don't know, I can't decide if I love this butterfly, but I really, I do like it. Um, so I, I posted this one, and um, the author Clover Robin also commented on this one. So I was so, I was so proud when she told me that they were pretty. So then, actually, I lied. I did get further in this book. I got to, I flipped to this. Oh, look, floral letters, floral lettering. How beautiful is that? So the first one, I, I tried one of these, and mine are different. I used different flowers and. Mine has, um, I mean, mine's got a lot more flowers and just kind of a different feel, but this is the first one. I didn't put a date on it. So this is my first initial, my first name, you know, and you can kind of see, can you see the, 
little detail. This one was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed putting this together. So after I did this one, I had to do my other initial, which is an S. So here's the S that I made. And every, every single thing on here that's colored is cut out. Um, there's no, I didn't draw anything on or anything like that. That was something that from this, this one where I did, um, I kind of copied her uh, tutorials in the book. I actually drew leaf veins and stuff on. And then I decided that, oh, I don't know if I like that for me. I kind of think I like it where if I'm going to do it, every single bit of it is collage. So these don't have anything drawn on them. Um, every little every little thing is, is cut out um, of paper. So I haven't done anything with these yet, but I think, I think they turned out great. So let me give you another little preview through the book here. So she has, the book has multiple chapters. This one is plants and flowers. And then she's got a chapter on um, bugs and birds. And then houses and homes. I think this would be fun to do. Household objects. Do I need to save this page so I can show you something? Um, jug of flowers. And then landscapes, building a scene. There's a house. Um, it, they're just, the book is beautiful. I mean, for the inspiration and the colors. And, and then if you're like me and you just love books, this book itself is nice. The paper is a pretty, is a matte finish. And it's just, it's a very pretty book. Um, it also has, and I cannot decide if I want to do it, but it also has um, a quite a few pages back here in the back for you to tear out and use in your collages. And I don't know that I'm going to use them. I kind of like the idea of just leaving them in here as inspirations of, um, you know, ways that I can create paper for, for my collages. Um, I don't think I'll cut them out just because I, I don't know. I just like to keep my book intact, if that makes sense. Oh, look at that peony. It's gorgeous. So the book is beautiful. Um, anyway, when I was thinking about the fact that I hadn't really done much of any of these other types of scenes, all I had done was flowers and stuff, I, I decided I was going to try people. So I looked at this one right here and I started building my little person. And that's one thing that's kind of interesting is you have to, if you want to do something like a scene, you really have to plan it and cut most of it before you start gluing. And I just kind of willy-nilly started going. So I started with this basic shape, you know, of the person here. And then as I was making my little person there, I decided um, that it was going to be me. So that's, that's supposed to be me. So she has long brown hair, and, and then I put the little face on. And then I was thinking, well, you know, what, what would I be doing? Well, I had been, um, <laughs> I had been thrifting. So I cut these from uh, craft paper packing, or, or actually it was Amazon packing paper, um, and made some shopping bags. So this is me coming in from shopping. And I don't own that sweater, but I think it would be cute. So then I decided, because I was flipping through, and I saw this this um, that she has in here. It's a table. And I thought, oh, because my surface here that I'm working on is also a table. So I thought I could do my table. So I made my craft table, cut out my craft table, and I made some scissors and some papers and some a paint and a paintbrush, some glue, my big um, markers or whatever, and some pencils. There's my cup of coffee, scissors, so I added that, added my trash can, and then behind that, if you've ever seen my craft room video tour, I have a wall, a big wall of bookcases, and um, so I made books, and book, put things on my bookcases, and then I added my, um, my Ikea carts. I have two of those Ikea carts, and one of them has my sewing machine on it, and then the other one just has sup supplies and stuff. So anyway, this is what I made the other day on the 8th, made this the other day. Um, 
and I feel like it composition wise it's it bugs me I don't feel like it's complete because it doesn't really have a focal point and I don't know but that's what I get for just kind of jumping into it and not necessarily planning a composition because I actually started gluing this person down before I even knew what I was going to do up here so you could plan it a little better and but this was so much fun so I think this took me about two and a half hours I think I watched about two and a half hours of Netflix movies when I did this um, I did do these um, just on my own um, because I noticed from making all of these flowers that I was ending up with a lot of shapes like this in my scraps a lot of where I had cut out um, circles and things so I had a whole bunch of like this I had a whole bunch of arches and whatnot from cutting out um, flower petals so I did a collage just with um, kind of the scraps and the, that's just all arches I think this is just on a this was November of 2018 um, and I just I colored the background just made a drew a grid on the background and then painted over it and then it's got metallic gold um, arches kind of all stacked up it's hard to fit I can't really fit it on the can I fit that on the screen and it has legs it's called legs anyway so there's that one and then I did this one which is like this was oh also November 8th um, so this one's on a gold. I colored the background gold. And this one kind of reminded me, it, what I was thinking of when I made it was Tinker Toys. You know how it, um, you hook everything together and then you keep building off of it and that kind of thing. So this was my Tinker Toys. And then this one, oh, this was this year, May 1st, 2019. This one I started, this isn't finished, and it's just scraps. So everything that I glued on here, I took directly from my scraps. I didn't cut anything. I didn't trim anything. Anything that's here that I, and this kind of has that Tinker Toy feel too. You know, like maybe this is all standing on this, balanced on that, or you know, that kind of thing. So everything that's on here came directly out of my scraps. I didn't, um, I didn't trim anything. I didn't cut anything. It's just straight out of the scrap bin. So, and these scraps just all came from making, making all, making these. So that's another, that's another abstract that I did. And then uh, you, you've seen this one. This is the one I did. I did this one first and then I added this other rose to go with it. And then I did this one the other day too, which is um, where I did the roses and then I added the leaves and the vase and for the vase, I used um, deli paper that I that I colored with um, one of my pro markers. So I just colored it and whoops, wrong side. I just colored it like this, waited for it to dry the deli paper, and then I love the way it came out because it um, it's it's got such a cool transparency over the. Um, over the leaves and stuff so that turned out pretty cool and everything here is cut too this is um the bottom here is a another piece cut out that i put on first and then put this over it so this one turned out cute and i thought this might be fun as like the front of a greeting card or something so i scanned it and then i got distracted the other day with making all these cards because my printer wasn't printing the colors accurately and i got really distracted with that but I was really impressed um, at how well it came out when I printed it though. I think it, it looked pretty good. So anyway, there's that one. And then let me show you, this is my paper stash. Let me show you this. Um, this is how I'm organizing my paper. I think she has hers in sheet protectors or something like that. This is what seems to be working for me. These are legal size file folders and I have just separated them into colors. So. This is my pink papers, and I have all different shades of pink and all different kinds of paper. I've got glossy paper, deli paper, book pages. This is tissue paper because I, I do some other stuff with tissue paper um, collages. This is um, graph paper. That's some, like, it's, 
I don't know. It's like a linen textured paper. There's some encyclopedia pages, that kind of thing. So all of these are just kind of organized by, or, you know, basically by color. And I have just been, if it still is a, a large piece, I just put it back in the envelope in here, in the folder here. So I just organize them like this. And then keep going here and look for pieces. There's some braille that I painted from a braille magazine. Some old graph paper, some music paper. Here's another one where I painted. I may have done that whole thing with um, a brush. And I think I used a little bit of that on, yeah, right there. It's supposed to be like a basket or a box or something on the shelf right there. That came from this piece. And once you do these, I mean, the pieces that you use, depending on the scale you're working in, the pieces that you use are so tiny. This stuff lasts forever. But the only thing is, and I will warn you, once you start doing something like this, you will want to keep every single piece of paper because you will think, oh, well, I could use that in a color. You know, every piece of paper has potential to become something. So this is oranges, just a mix of different papers and um, different colors, things like that. So this is literally when I'm working, when I'm working on these and I need another color, I just have these sitting here and I just flip to the color that I want and kind of flip through it and see, you know, find a piece uh, of paper that the color works for me. So I just have them, you know, separated by color. I did um, pink, red, orange, yellow, true green or greens and then blue greens I have separate and then blues um, blues purples and then this one is um, black brown and gray so that's the way I have my paper sorted and like the other day I bought a couple of new colors of craft paint that I and so when I got them home I am um, to kind of see how they looked I made new colored some more, some new sheets so I could see what color the, um, the craft paints are. And um, there, I have a painty papers video where I go through painting paper with a credit card thing. And there's a huge difference in the texture that you get when you use this craft paint. It's, it's very chalky um, versus using uh, professional acrylics um, like this. And the colors are usually more saturated. But it just, it, it all gives it different texture and a different feel and stuff like that. So anyway, I will put a link to this book down below if you're interested. I just think it's, I just think it's fabulous. And if you make something out of it, you know, just for the first time or two, just literally go through. She's got quite a few kind of tutorials in here. I think where, where she shows you like the shape of the pieces to cut and then, you know, how to put them together. And just go through and copy some of, you know, copy what she did and see if, you know, that gives you the kind of idea of how to get it. And then from there, you, your imagination can just take hold and you can um, start creating other flowers, you know, and looking and look for inspiration in other places and start making your own shapes and your own colors and your own designs. Can't decide what else to do with this one. I kind of, I'm, I sit on a stool. I have a stool right here. And I, um, I kind of want to put my stool in there. I can't decide. But I kind of liked how this turned out because it does sort of feel like my room. But anyway, I hope that's helpful, guys. Um, and if you have any questions, leave them down below. Subscribe if you're new to my channel and want to see more. Um, I will be back soon with um, some more journaling, hopefully. Uh, I have a quilting retreat this weekend. I'll be out of town, and I am so excited to get to see my quilty friends. So, anyway, you guys take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!